Hello dear saints. It looks like we're towards the end of the lockdown in the United States and incrementally here in Virginia. Slavica via Domno means to God be the glory in the Romanian language. I'd like to talk to you about uh, something special this morning. Three questions, three questions only human beings ask. No other living organism asks these questions. In fact, no other living organism even asks any questions other than the cock of the head of the dog, will you take me out kind of thing. <clears throat> Question number one, where do I come from? It has to do with origins. Um, where, 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 how did I get here? And where do I come from? Question number two is, where am I going? It has to do with destiny. Uh, what, what, what is the end of, of everything and what, and so on. And the third question is, why am I here? It has to do with significance. Does my life have significance? Does my life have purpose? Do I have a goal with my life? Or am I just running the rat race, basically uh, being born, growing up, getting an education, getting a job, having a family, becoming a grandparent or even a great parent, and then nothing? My life had nothing, no significance, no ultimate goal. And um, I'd just like to address question number three. I think the the Bible scripture is very clear that to every person has been given a gift, a measure of faith. In other words, dear listener, you have something inside of you that God put there for an eternal purpose. Now, the fact that God put it there doesn't mean that necessarily you know that or you're aware of the significance, the purpose of your life, uh, that the things uh, that God has endowed you with in your very, the very DNA of your physical and even spiritual being. And so when people have such a question, they come to me and I ask them something like this. If you did not have to hold a job, if you did not have to work, if you did not have to earn a salary every day in order to provide for your living expenses, your food and your shelter and clothing and so on, so if you didn't have to do that, but uh, you could every day do exactly what you wanted to do, what's in your heart to accomplish, what would it be? And of course, oh, I never thought of that, or uh, I'm not sure, and things of that nature. And so as I think, um, what would you do? Uh, the, the, there is a sense that they, their life didn't have any ultimate purpose and they were living some, I think we call it the rat race, you know, day in, day out, significance, without an ultimate direction or purpose for, the, for your life. Uh, uh, one simple example of that is um, uh, three bricklayers and one questioner, the first bricklayer laying the bricks. The question was, what are you doing? He says, I'm laying bricks. Can't you see? I'm laying bricks. Goes to the second person and said, uh, what are you doing? Now he's doing exactly what the first guy does, but he says, well, I'm building a wall. Went to the third guy, what are you doing? He says, I'm building a cathedral. Each were doing exactly the same thing, 
with a different goal, destiny in mind. You and I are living every day and outwardly speaking, somebody looking in on us could say, well, they're, they're three people, they're doing exactly the same thing. But may I suggest it's very different. One has an ultimate purpose in mind. Every day that you live has an ultimate purpose in mind if you know why you're here. Uh, the Bible gives some descriptions of purposes, you know, and one is, uh, you know, the gifts of helps. And some people are here to, to be helpers, for be part of a larger vision. Very often in, a, in an organization, you have the, uh, the uh, general manager and then you have the owner. And the, the owner has a goal for the firm, probably to make money, some more altruistic, or want to help humanity or lift humanity. But the manager is there to help the owner achieve his goal. And you might be on earth. For instance, a, a wife might be there to, to um, help her husband achieve his goal, or the reverse. The husband might be there to help the wife achieve her goal. And we have some uh, great examples of that. For instance, Margaret Thatcher of England, she was the uh, prime minister of the nation, her husband always seemed to be behind the scenes. He was in support of a wife who, thank God for men like that who had the humility and the sense to do something of that nature. You and I have a goal, you have a destiny, you have a purpose in life. If you're here, you're here for a purpose. And that purpose can be as varied as the rainbow. But when you ask the question, why am I here? No, that even though, uh, excuse me, but even though y your parents weren't married, or maybe you were a child uh, conceived in a rape, you know, those things really in the ultimate order of things are not the deciding factors for your life. God's will, God's purpose, why you are here. That is the goal and the reason for living our destiny. Now, that goal can shift throughout life. For, uh, for, for instance, in my, my personal life, you know, I, I, I had a goal and, you know, that was to graduate junior high school and then high school and, then to get my degree in a, a university. And then I had to th start to think, what am I going to do now? And I had become a Christian by this time, and so God was magnificently involved in that decision, Lord, what do you want me to do? And it was very clear that I was not to pursue uh, in the direction of my academic uh, credentials at this time, but I was to give my life to serve him. And there were no uh, opportunities available you know, for training, or it just, just wasn't there. But uh, a visiting missionary came into our church, and uh, now I had just, just in my senior year of college, I said, do you need any help? He says, oh, we've been praying for help. And lo and behold, I, I became a missionary assistant for three and a half years. But I left college knowing the destiny was to serve God. How I served God changed throughout the years. You know, missionary assistant, Sunday school superintendent, assistant pastor. I guess that's the, the track that normally we go, not necessarily 
in that order at all. And then I was a senior pastor of a church almost for 20 years. And then for a series of circumstances, I could no longer serve in that capacity. Uh, inwardly and outwardly, that page in the chapter of my life was turned and I had to go on to the new chapter of my life and that was being a missionary or being a servant to people after having become a servant to God wherever God would send me on earth and of course right now it's in the nation of Romania and out from Romania going into uh, different countries in Europe. That is my ultimate destiny on earth in terms of serving God uh, outwardly. That's the significance of my life is not to become popular, not to become famous, not to get earn a lot of money, not to uh, none of that at all. It's just to do exactly what we're doing. And a lot of what we're doing is help other people become what God has called them to do. And I, I think that's a treasured position to help others to be all that they can be. And that's the significance of my life. I didn't start there. And I don't know if I'm going to end there. Uh, that's uh, God's decision. But dear friend, the three questions of life. Where do I come from? Where am I going? And why am I here? You are here for a divine purpose. If you don't know what it is, we have an acronym, ASK, ask, ask seek, knock, and God will show you. In fact, you may already have a sense of knowledge. Don't tell God what you, what you want him to bless that you want to do. Ask God what he wants you to do, and he will bless it. My name is Roy, Roy Olson, and I'm your friend. And thanks for letting me into your life again for these few minutes. God bless. Goodbye.